I started off in the Merchant Navy, so uh, that and been all around the world several times. But then I came back and settled in a flat in Little Venice. But flat life is not for me. I'd like to live on a boat on the canal. And luckily, a lady I knew that used to be the mooring manager for this section of the canal asked me if I'd like to be warden. So I jumped at the idea. And that was 25 years ago. And since then, I've been happy, but latterly, not so. We used to be a happy community, but waterways have got so big that they don't bother or trouble about the waterways. All they want now is money. The rents have gone up threefold in the last few years. Once upon a time, they used to help you, but now they can't. They've even got an office here that you can't get in to even speak to them. Waterways have got so top heavy that there's more office staff. In other words, too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And I mean by line men looking after the actual care. And waterways seem to dole out to other people contract out their jobs and nobody oversees them so really we're getting a bad deal. One of the nicest parts of living on the canal is the amount of wildlife we have around here. I mean we're only a mile from Marble Arch and the amount of wildlife is fantastic. I mean on the waters we have uh, naturally hundreds of Canada geese, but we have swans, uh, moorhens, at the moment loads of seagulls. Um, we have the strangest sort of birds as well. We have a, a tree bird at the moment. It might have escaped from the London Zoo, which is only just up the Regent's Canal there. There, we have a load of influential people around here. We've got lords, earls, we have a load of actors and actresses. There's um, Edward Fox, he comes, passes the time of day with me. There's John Ingman, Annie at Lennox used to live down this way. David Stewart, as you can see, we have a, it's, it's quite a, a lot of people say posh area, but it's not posh, it's just a down-to-earth area. This is what they call a wide beam boat. It's a little bit wider than the normal canal boat. Uh, and on here, we have every facilities like you do in a flat. I mean, uh, heating. We use Kayla gas for cooking. We have um, well, everything, as you can see. Mind you, this, this houseboat is permanently moored here, so I'm very lucky. To people that want to come and live on there, if they can put up with waterways, bossing about and not helping us, it's a wonderful life.